Good morning, everybody. Dobre utra. It is a beautiful day. Just getting started. Out for a walk this morning. Gonna get a few things. It's uh, been a busy bunch of days the last few days, so lots going on. My name is Aaron Feenstra. This is Countryside Acres. If you're new here, my wife, myself, and eight children moved here to Russia nine weeks ago, and we are here on a tourist visa. That tourist visa allows us to stay in Russia for 90 days. So that's coming up pretty quick. We're allowed another three weeks and then we have to leave. What we're doing while we're here, we have been guaranteed immigration quota. So we have filed the paperwork for that. We are now in the quota for temporary residency. We had to do health checks for that. And these are good things if you're thinking of coming here. It's the same, the same rules will apply for you. We had to uh, do our health checks, all that stuff. So everything's done, everything's ready. The last thing we have to do is a language test. And we already knew this. We knew the language test was coming. But we do not feel at all ready yet to write a language test. I know many people keep saying, well, you gotta learn the language. And of course, that is what we hope to do. And we are working on it. We are learning a lot of words. Any of you that watches all the channels know that the children are speaking more and more Russian as well, but it takes time. And nine weeks is not enough time to become proficient in the Russian language. So we're studying and uh, you know, we're hoping for the best, but we're also considering the fact that we may have to leave Russia for a while. If we don't, if we don't pass that test in this 90 days, then we have to leave. And as far as I know, we're not allowed back again, not allowed to reapply for residency for uh, another three months. Meaning we would have to stay in another country somewhere and wait before we can reapply for another tourist visa and come back again and then try again. Or what we can do is leave now, maybe stay away for a month while we work hard and try to study some more language and then come back and write the test and hopefully pass. I hope I made that clear. So the other issue of course is financially flying with a huge family easily cost $10,000 for us to leave here and another 10,000 to come back. It's roughly a thousand dollars a ticket depending on where you're going or more. If we were to fly back to Canada, I looked at some tickets the other day, they were over $2,000 per ticket. So to fly our family, I need 10 tickets. You're looking at over $20,000 to fly out of here and then another 20,000 to fly back. That seems like such a waste of money. So I feel kind of caught in, in a bit of a dilemma where, uh, where we feel like we need to leave because we're not prepared for the test. And we don't really want to go. I mean, this is where we want to be for one. For two, we don't really want to spend all that money needlessly uh, for no reason and have no way of getting that back again. It's just a waste. Uh, if it wasn't for the language test, we would not consider leaving right now. We would stay right here. So it's a dilemma that we ask for your prayers. It's just Anissa and I that have to write the test and pass. Um, the other reason why are we not ready for it yet? Well, there's a lot going on. If you have eight children, uh, it's a busy house. So especially Anissa, she does all the editing for our YouTube channel. She looks after the children at home. Lots going on. We've had various meetings to go to, we've had various press conferences and things like that to deal with. Uh, we're trying to search for a farm, we were looking for a van, you know, all this stuff just adds up. If you have children, you'd understand that it does take a considerable amount of time. We've also had some sick kids in there, so then your nighttime routine is messed up, with children coughing or crying, not sleeping properly, and it's hard to focus during the day. Um, we're also in a fairly small apartment, so to actually find a quiet place to focus and study is also very difficult. These all sound like excuses, I realize that. Um, if you're thinking of coming here, I would urge you 
to get going on language. There are some mock tests available that you can uh, look at. There's several like sample tests, I guess they're called. And you can study those, but you kind of need to have a handle on uh, on some Russian law, Russian history, Russian language, both speaking and listening, uh, in order to pass this test. Why they have a test for temporary residency, I also don't understand. If I was to come here and apply for a work permit for uh, for a job, as far as I understand, I could stay in the Russian Federation for three years with no need for a language test and that would be fine but coming as a temporary resident uh, especially from Canada my tourist visa is only good for three months that's it uh, that's the longest I can get an American citizen can get a much longer tourist visa but from Canada it's only three months I believe from Australia it's even worse than that so in that three month time frame you have to get all this stuff processed and done and write the language test and um, it's just simply not not enough time so study as much as you can at home and then yeah hope hope for the best i guess when you get here um i would i would like to see that they change that i mean obviously i'm not writing law and i'm not in a position to ask anyone to change that but to to require a language test after only three months of being here on a tourist visa uh especially when when if I came here on a work permit, I would not need one. That's the other. It's almost a tempting thing. We could form a company here, fly out, uh, hire ourselves. It's a bit of paperwork, obviously. It's not that simple either. But then come back and work for ourselves with no need for a language test. Obviously, we're going to learn the language. This is going to be our home. We're planning on staying here, and over time, we will learn more of the language. But it does take uh, take time to learn, and especially in the busy household. I just spoke to someone else on the phone as well. And he said, you know, if you're a single guy, that's reasonable. You can devote a lot of time, find quiet time to uh, to focus on the language. But when you're running a household and you have that many children, it's a lot harder to find that time and, and get that done. So, yeah, like I said, just to rehash that, if I came on a work permit, I could be here for three years, no language test requirement. Coming for a temporary residency, I need to pass a language test within three months of being here which is pretty difficult to do. Now, I understand language test requirement for permanent residency. That makes total sense. And I understand it for citizenship. That makes total sense. But temporary residency, it's, it's temporary. It's not a permanent thing. And uh, it would be nice if they could scrap that and allow us to um, just wait until we're permanent residents, I guess. So anyway, that's my little thing today. I uh, hope you guys are all doing good. We super duper appreciate all the love and support we've been getting from you guys and for the channel. Uh, both of them have grown very, very much. It's awesome. If you have not had the time to check out our new channel, Countryside Corner, head over there and do that. I've discussed with the kids, some of the kids, the three of them, uh, their thoughts on moving here. And also we have interviews with other uh, people who have moved. Uh, one, one from England, America, uh, two from America, I guess. Uh, who else have I done? Australia. Uh, and there's more coming. I'm going to be interviewing a bunch more people. That uh, Some of them that I'm sure you know. So head over to that channel. Hit subscribe on there. Give it a thumbs up. Maybe check out some of the videos. And uh, let me know what you think of the format over there. Uh, this channel is going to carry on. We've also got some great stuff in the works. Where we're, we're working on a farm deal. And I can't really explain a whole lot to it. Just because if we don't end up accepting this deal, then there's no point in letting you know about it. Uh, I'm excited, and I wish I could tell you more about it. And if it all works out, then uh, hopefully very soon we will be telling you more about it. But for now, you just have to wait. Uh, we're also looking at a few other things still. We're still looking at some more options for land and such. But for the most part, we're, uh, we're kind of focusing on one particular deal which is good and bad. If it works out, it's great. We didn't waste our time, but otherwise we have wasted it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, going along with that farm theme, us buying a farm, we're obviously looking forward to that uh, very much. <laughs> we're, not, <laughs> we're not city folks. I don't like living in a city. It has some conveniences, yes, but uh, we very much would like to be back on a farm with animals. And that's the other part that bothers us. If, if we don't pass this test and we have to leave, then uh, we're that much farther from farming again. 
let's say we run out of time. I don't think we're allowed to reapply for a tourist visa for like three months. I might be wrong, but that's going to put us into the middle of summer. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we can have a farm deal figured out before this. So it's just another consideration. You now, what do we do? Do we, do we go on a holiday and spend, you know, between 20 and 10, 20 thousand dollars, maybe more, uh, kind of uselessly traveling some more? Don't get me wrong, I don't mind holiday and I don't mind seeing other countries, seeing what other places look like but it is kind of wasteful. Well, it's not kind of, it is wasteful when that money can be better used on the farm, buying uh, equipment or animals. And, you know, our life has been kind of disrupted enough <laughs> this last year. It would be nice, very nice, to get back to normal life and um, routine, just to have a routine, have a home for us, for the family. Uh, a regular place to to wake up and spend time build security have family life and farm animals chores things to do begin to feel more useful and profitable than than just sitting in an apartment you know all of those things tie in so but we don't want to leave we we would like to begin our new life but on the flip side we almost feel like Maybe we're not going to have a choice because we're going to run out of time. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. You drop your comments down below this video as well. And, um, yeah, let us know, I guess. Maybe there's something we're missing. Maybe there is uh, an exemption or, uh, you know, exception that we're not aware of. That would prolong us, give us maybe some more time to write this test and not have to leave Russia. Uh, but as it stands right now, we have to write this test, I think, in the next two weeks. And um, in order to stay here. Within the next three weeks, for sure, because then we have to be out of the country. On a totally different note again, spring is in the air. Look at these. See them buds? I don't know if you can make that out. Anyway, the trees are budding. That's awesome. I love this time of year. There's nothing better than spring. Uh, rebirth, regrowth, new life. It's just so amazing. Especially after winter. Which is why I do like living in the Northern Hemisphere when you have four seasons. I think, I've never lived somewhere else, so correct me if I'm wrong. But living in an area where you have four distinct seasons also, I think, gives more appreciation for spring after coming through a long winter than to have springtime and uh, and see that rebirth. I look forward to it. There's been some nice warm days lately. A lot of snow's melting, water running down the road, and um, yeah, now trees budding. It's beautiful, it's nice to see. Very much looking forward to seeing green grass again. <laughs> New life, animals out on pasture maybe. Uh, especially if we get our own farm soon. To be able to have all those things uh, as well yeah it's just exciting such an exciting time and uh, I'm looking forward to showing you guys what things look like when it's green now it's brown but all that grass there's a few green ones in there you can make out some new plants right there so it's coming it's starting another I don't know another month or so I would think and at least back back in Canada Another month would give us, uh, you know, a totally different look on life. It would be definitely a lot, a lot more like spring. You let me know. Let me know down in the comments what's your favorite season. Do you prefer spring, winter, summer, fall? I know some people that really love fall. They like the color changes in the leaves. It's a nice time of year as well. Hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, birds chirping. That's another beautiful part of spring. You do have birds in the winter, just not as many. And uh, in springtime when the birds come back, I'm very curious to see what type of birds are here. But um, very much lucky, looking forward to seeing the birds coming, coming back again. I got this spot to cross once more that we crossed earlier. I don't want to get wet feet. Should have brought my rubber boots maybe. 
Anyway, that's enough rambling for the day. Like I said earlier, we appreciate y'all. And, um, yeah, just the love and support and kind words. Just been amazing. By and large, I'd still say 90%, probably higher, of the comments are absolutely wonderful. All right, God bless you guys. We'll catch you all later. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the 